everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kat, and for today, we're gonna be taking a look at Alien Cosmetics Don't Be Jelly palette, which I am super excited for. So this is the color story. So when I first saw the promo photos for this, I was like, okay, it, it looks nice, but I thought that there were a, a decent number of matte shades in here, and then like, these two were coming across as shimmers to me, these two lighter blue ones, but there weren't like a ton that were coming across as like super duper shimmery. This palette is 100% metallics and shimmers. There is not a single matte in here, so I was just drastically wrong. <laughs> so essentially what we have is that the two shades in the middle are more of like that softer shimmer type formula, so I would imagine they're gonna be like a medium level of sheerness as we swatch them. Then you have just all the rest are like different forms of like metallic duo or multi-chromes. So they have a lot of different shifts that are not available yet for you to see, but as soon as we swatch them, like I can tell you, this guy right here, you're seeing green, it's purple as I am looking at it, and then this guy you're seeing blue, green as I look at it. So I am very, very excited to swatch all of these shades for you guys, and then at the end we will do an eye look together. I do want to try and start including more eye looks for you guys, and so even if the eye look that I have on my face is not something that is relevant to what I'm talking about in that video, I will still have at the end just a quick little like couple minute thing where I show you guys what palette I'm using and what colors so you can see how the look is put together. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that, and then that way if you don't want to see what the look is for that day, you can just click off afterward, and then for those to the do, it is available. <laughs> Alright, so let's just go ahead and start off with all of the swatches, and then we will get into the eye look. So the naming convention for these shades is just DBJ 1 through 9. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's just don't be jelly 1 through 9, which is fine. That makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> so first up, we have DBJ 1. Huh. Already seeing that shift. Alright, so I am seeing, it's actually a bit of more of a like metallic-y to satin type formula. It's not 100% opaque as I am looking at it, but it's definitely got like a maroonish, like deeper maroonish to purple to blue shift on there. So you guys are definitely seeing some of the blue as my hand is away, and then as I get in closer it shifts more to that purple, and then into kind of the maroonish at the end. First swatch. Not 100% opaque, but it definitely looks like, let's see if we can build this guy up. Oh yeah, two swatches and you're already built up to maximum opacity. Show you guys that a little bit closer. You can definitely see, oh, there's a bit more of that maroonish to then the purple and then the blue. Very, very nice. <laughs> Next up we have DBJ2, which is a lighter pink shade. And this guy is a little bit more of a chunky formula, whereas DBJ1 was more of a smoother formula. And this guy definitely has a shift from like pink to like yellowish green, possibly. <laughs> so you can definitely see the pink to the kind of champagne-ish shift. And then as it is in close, you can see definitely a bit more of a reflective type shade, whereas this guy is a bit more between a metallic and a satin. This guy is more of like a, a true shimmer on there. All right, next up we have DBJ3, and already just looking at it on my finger, I am pumped for this shade. <sighs> All right, you're seeing that green? And then I'm seeing the shift between the green to purple to that maroonish kind of shade. So green, there's some blue, purple, Oh man, like all of the shifts are coming through on this one. That is stunning. Oh man. Oh, very nice. Woo. Mm. All right, we're going to do a second swatch over that one to build it up to maximum opacity. That one definitely is the same type of formula as this first guy was. And so first swatch, not 100% opaque, but that second one it's all there. Next we've got DBJ4, and this is one of those softer shimmers. Oh yeah, just so soft, just like a cream texture almost. And it is a little bit more sheer, kind of like how I was expecting. It's got a light bluish teal to purple to pink shift. You can definitely see the blue and around the edges kind of a little bit of the pinkish purple. There's more of your purple and the pink as it's trying to focus, and then there's your blue again. 
very very nice shade oh okay next we have dbj5 and this guy is like the rainbow multi-chrome on here it is i would say very similar formula to this guy and this guy so you're starting off with that maroonish shade i'm seeing yellows reds coppers greens oh man so we start off with a magenta starting to see some of the copper up at the top a little bit more there's your greenish coming through some of the red showing up in there almost all greenish oh all right let's do that second swatch get it to the highest it can go oh yeah there you can really see the shift maroon to copper to yellowish to green mm. next up is dbj6 and this is the same type of formula as this shimmer and this guy, oh yeah, very nice shade. This is like that shift between a green tealish to kind of lilac purple. So from back here, we're seeing greens, purples, blues. Coming in close, you can see a little bit more of that shift. The green's starting to show a little bit through. But I definitely think for all of you out there that are trying to find multi-chromes and different types of formulas that are a little bit less expensive than some of your top tiers, like your Cleone does, Terra Moons, things like that, I think the three brands that I would probably toss out there as some of the best pricing-wise are gonna be Alien Cosmetics, Sugar Drizzle, and then the Pastel Roses, which is a UK indie brand. And so those three to me have super duper reasonable prices. I think It's Bell Cosmetics is also one, but I feel like the formula between It's Bell and Sugar Drizzle and Alien Cosmetics, I did a previous video where I kind of showed some of the similarities on there, and I just feel like so far with all of the palettes that have been introduced, Sugar Drizzle and Alien Cosmetics have more unique shades available than It's Bell Cosmetics does. And so once It's Bell kind of breaks out into their own color stories, I think we'll start to see more where I would also recommend them. But for right now, uniqueness wise, Pastel Roses, Alien Cosmetics, and Sugar Drizzle are my three for less expensive brands. Next up we have DBJ7, and this guy is back to that similar formula like what these three guys have. So this one's starting off with purple, and then I'm seeing kind of a cranberry red to grungy greenish type shift. So actually kind of similar to this guy, just that instead of starting with that kind of magenta shade, it's starting with more of a purple. And I am just gonna immediately go into a second swatch to build it up so you guys really get maximum effect on there. So starting off purple, a little bit of that reddish is coming in, and then up at the top, you're starting to see a little bit of that greenish, very similar to this guy up at the top very much so that grungy green yeah very nice but definitely this one starts off as significantly more purple and then this is more magenta-y red in the beginning and then yeah formula wise all four of these so far are very very similar next up is going to be dbj8 and this guy is actually kind of a little bit more similar to the shimmer formula of these two guys yeah, definitely more of that creamy kind of texture. It's starting off with kind of a burnt rose and then has some like light purple mixed in and then some champagne -y sparkles on top. So you can see a little bit of that like burnt rose to lilac type shade. And then you can see a little bit of those gold sparkles on top. So then the last shade that we have is DBJ9 and this guy is very similar formula again back to the other multi-chromes that we have. And this guy starts off with a very nice deep blue to kind of royal purple shade. And this one I don't think I need to do a second swatch. It is pigmented. <laughs> All right and then I am seeing yeah navy blue to a royal purple to kind of a cranberry shade. So there's your deep blue. And then as we come in, the royal purple starting to kick in. I am not sure if on this one we're going to be able to catch that kind of cranberry at the end. It's not quite wanting to, maybe ever so slightly as you're looking at it. But I think that for this guy, the base along with that deeper blue and royal purple is kind of in the camera washing out the cranberry. But it does have a bit of a cranberry finish to it. 
that is very similar as you're looking to the red on this shade that it starts off with that is what this guy finishes with so since it won't show it i can at least describe it <laughs> but this is the whole arm all of the shades involved. Okay, I think in an effort to try and use as many of the shades as possible, uh, this is going to be a very smoky look, I feel like, but I'm gonna try and layer them as best I can. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this guy on the inner third, and then I will go into this guy for the middle, and then this guy for the outer third, and then I am just going to layer <laughs> all of the shimmers on top of that and then the inner corner we're gonna do this guy because i think that this <laughs> it's so bright you can't even see it from back here so i'm gonna jump right in enjoy the musical stylings that i chose during editing i have no idea what they'll be yet <laughs> All right, I am using a dry brush and right off the bat, this guy is applying very, very easily. It is just going on super duper smooth. I'm using a bit of a thicker packing brush on there, so not a blending brush, but also not a precision brush, just kind of a medium packing brush on there. Okay, so that was DBJ7. So now we're gonna go into DBJ1. So those first two shades are definitely coming across very similar to me upon initial application, but I'm hoping that as I apply the shimmers on top on the lid, that that will help to bring out, because the middle shade definitely has a bit more blue in it, whereas that first shade has no blue. And so I'm hoping that when I start applying like maybe this shimmer on top, that that will really start to pull out the blue of that shade. Because I need the blue <laughs> to be able to have it to blend with this guy. <laughs> so now we're gonna do DBJ3 for the outer third. This is looking awesome already. I am very, very excited. And then what do I wanna do for the bottom? Do we just want to go real, real nuts? Uh, so for the lower lash line, I almost kind of wonder if I want to use on the inner half this guy, outer half the blue. I think we're going to do that. <laughs> and then we will do the shimmers on top. First, we're going to do DBJ5. Oh man, <laughs> this is looking nuts right now, but I love it. All right, and then we're gonna do DBJ9 for the outer half of the under eye. These are some smoky eyes right now. <laughs> uh, so what I ended up doing was also just ever so slightly in the center to kind of blend the two shades together. I went back into DBJ1 just to smoke it out ever so slight. So next we're gonna go into the shimmers to throw those on top. All right, so I think to start off, we will use DBJ8, which is this kind of burnt rose shade on top. Then we will go into DBJ4 and then finish with DBJ6. And then DBJ2 is gonna go in the inner corner there. And we will literally have used 100% of the shades in the palette. What's up? <laughs> Okay, so very quickly on, I determined that the finger is the appropriate way to apply these. If you don't want to use your finger, then I would definitely suggest using either some kind of glitter primer or setting spray on your brush, just to make sure that you're getting a good amount of pigment on there, because with just a dry brush, the shimmers don't want to go on very well. Next, we're going to do DBJ4 in the center of the lid. Ooh. <laughs> that has way more green uh, than I was expecting. All right. <laughs> oh man, all right. When I come in close, you guys aren't even ready for this. <laughs> this is like a dark evil sea witch to me right now. That's what this is coming across as. <laughs> all right, and then for the outer third, we're gonna do DBJ6. All right, and then the last shade we're gonna use is DBJ2 for the inner corner. Okay, 
So everything is on. I'm going to throw mascara on and tight line real quick and then we will be back for the final look and I'll come in close so you guys can see all the shimmers because from far away it just looks like a very deep look. But up close it is all the shimmers and just literally like I'm, I'm getting all of the deep sea witch vibes right now and I absolutely love it. <laughs> so two seconds and we'll be right back for the final look. Okay, and we're back with the final look. So I'm gonna come in close real quick just so you guys can see all of the different layers of shimmers and everything. It is a very smoky eye. <laughs> like from back here, definitely giving off a little bit of raccoon vibes because I went a little heavy. Um, and I definitely think that's also partially because all of the multi-chromes that are on here that are that kind of uh, more satiny metallic type formula have a very deep base to them. And so that's why it's coming across this way where you do need to have the light hit it a certain way in order to be able to see all of the different shifts. Otherwise, it just kind of comes across as like a bit of a charcoal gray. So I'm gonna come in close and here we go. So here is the look in close. I went in with three different shades of eyeliner in my waterline so that that way I kind of went from magenta to purple to blue so that it would blend out a little bit better with the multi-chromes that were on the bottom. And then just all of the shimmers on top. I really like how they're picking up all of the different shades, like the greens and blues on the lid, going into the purples and the magentas. Just really, really nice, super fun look. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Definitely, this is probably not a daytime look that I would go with, more so a evening time. But if you were wanting to make a statement, you definitely can with this guy. I also think that it's very, very easy to make a lighter look. You don't have to go this deep. You could probably just do something along the lines of taking some of these lighter shimmer shades, using those on the majority of the lid, and then just kind of introducing a little bit of those deeper multi-chromes from maybe the outer corner, something like that. I mean, using any of the shimmers just as a pop of color on the inner corner with a neutral eye, absolutely stunning. So you, there's a lot of different ways that you could take this palette, but it was definitely for me like one of the unexpected palettes because I just, I definitely thought it was like, oh, that's primarily a purple palette, got it, with a lot of matte shades. And then no, <laughs> it is a multi-chrome palette through and through. So I think it is awesome, cannot recommend it enough. And yeah, I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are and everything. What do you think of the look, especially once I came in close? Were the colors picking up for you guys? What do you think of the swatches of everything? And give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you did not, let me know either way. And if you made it to the end of the video and you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Come join my family here on YouTube. We are almost at 500 subscribers. I think I'm like three away and I am definitely doing a giveaway as soon as I hit 500. So probably in one of the next couple of videos, I'm hoping. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> but I do have a super fun giveaway planned for you guys. And so hopefully we'll hit 500 here soon. And yeah, come join my family. We talk about colorful makeup, lots of multi-chromes, duochromes, shimmers, all of it, indie brands galore. Other than that, you guys just go have a good one.